Hibiscus Virtual Gallery is pleased to present Ashley Davis's All the People I Don't Know, Portraits from Memory. Oh, hi, I'm Ashley, Ashley Davis, an artist and artist educator. This is an idea a very, very long time ago. Um, so it's something that I've wanted to do for quite a while. And so the way it works, they are all from memory. Um, a lot of you who know me know that I'm visually impaired and I actually have short-term memory loss. Which short-term memory loss? I found a way of sort of assigning these people to my long-term memory. And I have a method where I'll look for 15 seconds, close my eyes, look again for 15 seconds, close my eyes. I'll repeat that. Sometimes when I close my eyes, the people have disappeared, which is a bit annoying. But in doing that, I managed to assign that to long-term memory. Sort of about particular features or moods or something that might, you know, sort of catch your attention. But I have to be very careful of these are people that I don't know, that I have seen, that caught my eye for some reason, and then I memorise. There are a couple who have a little tail to them, and they're quite remarkable little tails, and I have to bring you over to my superhero. <laughs> and he is the one who has the colour, who has the glory, because this is quite an unbelievable story. I was, I, was, I came off the tube, and I was going platform, and a gust of wind blew off my hat. And then a woman said to me, oh, sorry darling, it's blown onto the track. And I said, oh no. It's my favourite hat. <laughs> and then this young man who got onto the track um, at Hoburg Station, he got down onto the tracks. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And I went, no, no, no. And then he came up and he just handed my, my hat to me. And then it was almost like he disappeared. And I, but luckily, the woman who was standing next to me, whose name was Barbara, I found out, um, I did that just happen? And she said, yes, it did. It did just happen. Because I couldn't believe that someone, I don't know, he didn't know me. It makes me quite tearful, actually. <laughs> so if I bring you over to, where has she gone? My lovely little old lady. The tiny drawings, but she really stayed in my mind because there was something quite, I suppose people would say quite sad about her stance and her walking along with her little trolley. It, you would kind of assume that she led a lonely life and was going home on her own, probably to feed her 25 cats, you know, or something. It, this will be me in the future. But, and it, but then I thought, but I don't know that. That trolley could be full of whiskey, biscuits, bags. She could be going home and having a bloody good time. How do I know that she's lonely? I don't, you know. And this is the thing. That we have this, and also unconscious bias. We don't think we are, but you know, we're just sort of, we do make assumptions about people and I think all of us do that and all of us are fascinated by other people so that's why I thought you might enjoy this because who doesn't like a bit of people watching? So this project for me, if someone does say, what are you looking at? I can say, I'm an artist, don't you know? And um, I can get away with it, I hope, but <laughs> some people have noticed me looking at them, but generally they will smile at me, which again sort of reinforces my thing that people are nice. And I haven't had a, oi, what are you looking at, you know, so far. It may happen. And I'll just draw your attention to Ruby, so I know her name too, because she worked in Marks and Spencers. And I went with a friend who, to, she wanted to try bed mattresses, so we were lying on beds together, having a great time. And Ruby was the shop assistant who came over and asked, can I get you anything? And I said, yes please, a duvet. And she was very sweet and took it in, you know, she was very good natured about it. And we ended up talking to her for about three quarters of an hour. So Ruby is no longer a stranger. People, I've become sort of, you know, I have started talking to them, so they're no longer strangers. They're not people I 
don't know. Um, that's part of it. So, yeah, all done in pen and ink quite quickly because I, I have to get that. Like I say, pen and ink is quite a sort of, if I say unforgiving medium, it, I mean it doesn't make move a lot of room going wrong. <laughs> You've got to be sure of the marks you're making, and that's why I like it. You know, it's just get those marks down. You can't change this, and so yeah. I mean, I have quite a few favourites in here, so I could go. So I love this. Yeah. Beautiful young woman. I really noticed her. One of the reasons I really liked her because she was looking up. She may well have been looking, I think she might have been looking at where to go on the, on the central line. But it was just the fact that most people have their faces down on the tube. And she was just so stunningly beautiful as well. No piercing. Everything about her, I just, so I, I managed to look at her for quite a long time. And then this one here, she was the first and I decided to start the whole series again. And I do really love her. One of the reasons I love it is she was extremely beautiful, but the simplicity of that drawing. Yeah. I just went in for it very certainly. I knew exactly what I wanted to do, so I do love her. I'll bring you over to another one which also has a story to it. Three here are actually a little series that I call Slumber, although they were drawn or observed at different times. Obviously, a number of people do fall asleep on the tube, but what I love is the kind of deep sleep that people go into, and the, that there's a sort of peacefulness to it. And um, I just, this this lovely, beautiful woman was just waking up, and I captured that moment in my mind, and I think she was aware that I was looking at her. And that was rather that was rather interesting as she as we sort of caught eye contact, but then we smiled at one another. Always lovely, always lovely that brief exchange with people. And then over to here, I think her sleep looked so gorgeous, and I really felt she was dreaming. Something very content in her face. Whether it was the, the warmth of those those naps that you have in the day where you just sort of slumber off and just have that warm nap. It was that. It was that. And there's something again very, very beautiful about the way she was just leaning over and um, yeah, beautiful. I had to I had to remember her. And there she is. And then over to this man here, who I have to say, um, I, I saw him, I noticed him quite quickly. He was in the corner against the window, asleep. But there was something rather sad about his, his, um, about his whole demeanour. And he did wake up quite a few times and then went back to sleep. But his shoulder was up. It wasn't the same kind of soft, gentle slumber as he thought. It looked more agitated and lonely. And I actually made several sketches of this man and needed to select one. And I chose this one because it was probably the most simple out of all, the, all of them that I did. But yes, he really, he really stayed in my mind. And what happened with these people as well? Like I said, I often wonder whether I'll see them again, whether they'll be in the same space as me. And sometimes with someone like this one here, I'll wonder how he is, if he's okay, you know. That's something that I will think about these people. Obviously, we want them to know that they're all right. Then, if I bring you to this man here, this very, very beautiful, beautiful young man who had the most amazing shape of his skull with the shaved head and the beautiful Romanesque nose. And he was looking up, and these lines are actually tattoos that he had on his neck, which really emphasized the whole of his profile. And he was just beautiful. Just such a beautiful young man. And I kind of couldn't take my eyes off him. 
I saw a deer come in and obscure the view, which was rather irritating, but he was still there, still looking up, and see the Adam's apple, everything about him was almost perfect, and the tattoos that emphasised emphasized this, so yes, he had, he had to be remembered, of course. Obviously, this beautiful young woman was almost impossible not to notice. She was exquisitely beautiful, and it, it, I find women beautiful. They will take my breath away. You know, I will turn to look at women who are just so stunning that beauty is captivating. Uh, male, female, it's just she was so exquisite and. Time I was looking with at her, she had her eyes down, these beautiful long eyelashes, and the way that her the job emphasised her beauty. And I was just annoyed actually that she didn't get on the same train as me, but I managed to look at her as I left the station and she was still there. There was just so such composure about her that just Stunning. So, again, someone who, whose face I could not forget, and I know that I would recognise her if I saw her. Now I've seen her, I would recognise her. I know someone with such composure, such beauty. I would say, "Oh, I've seen you before." I wouldn't say that to her, but I'd say that to myself. So this again is in an underground station. I think it was actually Leytonstone Underground, and I, in my mind, I called this the next tra train is approaching. And this here is actually the tunnel as the train comes through. There was something sort of melancholic about this man, a resigned, sort of, yeah, weary resignation about life and we all know that feeling and I think I noticed him on that day because I also slightly had that feeling of just oh, this is what it is, this is what we are and so his whole demeanour echoed mine and so here we are both waiting as the next train approaches. This young woman was actually very difficult for me to draw because her beauty was almost flawless. To the extent that I thought when I drew her, she's going to look like a doll. It, it will look false because her features were so beautiful, pretty. Her whole face was so gorgeous. I really didn't think I could do her justice. Like I say, I thought it wouldn't, it wouldn't look realistic. But this is her with this perfect beauty. And again, I couldn't take my eyes off her. And I think there she might be trying to avoid my gaze at her, which was one of total admiration. Just her checkered scarf, her beautiful curls, absolute flawless beauty. So I could go on hours, but at some point someone just say, shut up, Ashley. Have Ashley Davis's All the People I Don't Know is currently exhibiting at Hibiscus Community Centre and can be viewed on Mondays between 1 and 8 p.m. and on Tuesdays through to Fridays between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m.